time, make time. We'd like you to spend a little time with us. Hi, everybody. My name is Tommy Patillo. With us on the show, we got a great group. This one of the smoothest, coolest looking groups I've seen in a long time. Very unique. Kenny Vance and the Planetones. So stick around, don't go nowhere. Coming right at you soon. Ashley's After Dark, New Jersey's premier nightclub is located behind Romance Emporium at 1065 Bloomfield Avenue in Clifton. Wednesday night, enjoy $1.50 drafts with DJ Cali spinning all of today's hot new music. Thursdays with Mike Katina and our classic disco showcase. Ladies night is Friday with classic disco and top 40 hits with DJ Jazz on the mix. Saturday night is our oldies band showcase. Ashley's is open for lunch and dinner Monday through Saturday. Call 778-2253 Ashley's. Dr. Paul Stefanelli, a board-certified chiropractic neurologist specializing in chiropractic neurological evaluations and treatment. Dr. Stefanelli has also written numerous articles on the neurological basis for chiropractic care and has lectured on various topics including stress and nutrition. The Chiropractic Neurology Center of Essex County is located at 567 Franklin Avenue in Belleville. Please call today at 450-1003 for a healthier tomorrow. Tomorrow. Luna Sound. Multi track digital recording and editing. Luna Sound. Commercial music writing and production. Luna Sound. Music demos. Master quality. Luna Sound. Jingles. Post production work. 201 256 0440. 201 256 0440. The Arlington Jewelers, located at 261 Franklin Avenue in Nutley, is offering the finest selection of quality gold jewelry, specializing in handmade custom designs and jewelry repair. A jeweler is always on the premises for all your engraving needs. Come and visit us at Arlington Jewelers for the largest selection of quality jewelry in the area. We specialize in fine jewelry, repairs, and custom designs. We guarantee low, low price and your satisfaction. We're back. We're back. I want you to check these guys out. There's something else. Kenny Vance and the Planetones. I dream of you. 
A short commercial break, and we'll be back in a little while with Kenny Vance and the Planet Tones. The Jersey Spotlight! The nightclub at the Gondola Restaurant. Dining and entertainment seven nights a week. Fridays and Saturdays feature the best bands in the tri-state area. Wednesday nights, the original gong show. Cash prizes plus a free buffet for all. Maria's Tuesday, sophisticated ladies night. Drinks for the ladies are free till 10 p.m. Carlo's clay oven pizza party every Thursday. Buy one, get one free. Piero sports night every Monday with big screen action and free buffet. The nightclub at the Gondola Restaurant. Welcome to the world of a cappella. Everyone loves doo-wop music and the UGHA provides it. If you're a doo-wop fan but not a UGHA member, you've been missing out on the real doo-wop scene. Concerts, legends of rock and roll and rhythm and blues, record collector shows, and a cappella groups are part of the United In-Group Harmonies Association meetings that are held every month. Plus, all members receive a monthly newsletter. For more information, call Clifton Music at 201-365-0049, a Ronnie I production. For a great night out, New Jersey's hottest singing group and party band, Parkway, is back. Yes, an evening of solid gold and rock and roll, featuring the hottest and hippest dance music of the fabulous 70s. New Jersey's own blue-eyed soul band, Parkway. Call the Parkway hotline, 908-233-1114. Take that number down and catch a ride on the Parkway. Hotline number 908-233-1114. Hey, guys and gals, I'd like to thank the Franklin Food Court of Nutley for catering our show. The Franklin Food Court is located at 223 Franklin Avenue in the heart of Nutley. From the bakery to bagels to a lunch and dinner menu, they're open seven days a week, so stop by and tell them Tommy P sent you for a free gift. The Franklin Food Court. I am, I'm sweating bullets. I'm so excited about having these guys on the show. Thanks. They are very unique in their approach to uh, 50s standard tunes. Yeah. Kenny, thanks for coming hey, on the show. Pleasure, pleasure. You know, I had the pleasure of seeing you guys perform uh, a little way, little ways back, and uh, uh, you just brought the house down, man. Your your interpretation of uh, of the songs is quite unique. Well, we kind of try to. Uh, we don't want to copy any of the songs. We kind of, you know, remember songs that we grew up listening to, and these yeah. songs are, are, are in us. And we kind of do them as we remember them, and we bring our collective ages with us, so the songs kind of age like fine wine. And when we do them, we hope that, it, they, that they take on uh, more of a romanticism based on, you know, being a little older. Mm -hmm. It's not like we want to mm -hmm. copy the harp tones or copy the skyline. Right, right. What, um, how would you describe your sound? 
Well, um, I, I was, we were in L.A. recently, and uh, people were asking us, and we kind of thought about it, and we, we kind of categorize it as teenage jazz. And, and wh what that means is, again, like uh, songs that we grew up with, kind of like Thelonious Monk or Charles Mingus or, or Ornette Coleman, a lot of these jazz musicians, when they got to be in their middle 40s and they were reinterpreting standards that they grew up with, uh, that's kind of what we're doing. So we're sort of like jazz musicians doing songs that we loved as kids. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's it's fantastic. Kind of like teenage jazz. By the way, I want to introduce uh, the guys. Uh huh. Who am I? Well, now <laughs> you know, right? Yeah, I think so. Now I know. Joe Esposito. Joe? Eddie, Eddie Hokinson. Eddie Hokinson. Murray Weinstock from Patterson, New Jersey. And over here, the modest Jerry Friedman. Jerry Friedman on guitar. Uh, but I want to say something about, you know, uh, about uh, Joe and Eddie. Uh, they were in a group called the Brooklyn Dreams. Right, that's right. For Brooklyn many Dreams. years. And Joe was the lead vocalist on a song called Heaven Knows. Uh huh. Uh -huh. He did a duet with Donna Summer on that. Dynamite. Well, uh, you guys, I mean, all, I've read all your promos, and it's just uh, amazing. You guys have been involved in so many different aspects of, of uh, the recording business and, and songwriting and acting. You've, of course, uh, Kenny Vance uh, formed the original group Jay and the Americans, right. and, uh, which was uh, one of the biggest uh, recording groups of the 60s and 70s. 60s and yeah. 70s, right. Uh, but... Uh, to talk about, to get into the movie aspect of it, how did you well, the wind movie, up uh, doing movies? The movie thing came, um, when I left Jay and the Americans, I did an album for Atlanta called Vance 32. Right, right. It was around 1970, I think I left Jay and the Americans around 72, and then I kind of wandered around for a couple of years trying to figure out who I was. And then I did an album with a song called Looking for an Echo about growing up in Brooklyn and singing in the subways. And uh, a guy in Hollywood was about to do a movie called the Alan Freed, uh, called American Hot Wax, the Alan Freed story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And luckily they heard this song and they thought, we don't know who this guy is, but sounds like he would probably be the right guy to put this together for us. And they flew me out there and, and I worked on American Hot Wax and I needed to put groups together for the show. And a friend of mine, Vinnie Poncia, who was originally with the Vidal's and who worked, wrote, You Make Me Feel Like Dancing for Leo Sayer and worked mm -hmm. with Ringo Starr and Melissa Manchester. He was working with the Brooklyn Dreams and he right. said, why don't you give Eddie and, and Joe a call and Bruce Sedano at that point and we got together and we were the Planetones in American in Hot Wax. Right. And then just recently, about six months ago, we just, you know, we've been talking to each other and we said, why don't we do the Planetones because it was so much fun mm -hmm. and we just decided to get together and you know with not any expectations of what's going to come from it and just have a good time with it so that's kind of what's going on. And I was busy mowing my lawn so it was a big decision <laughs> for me. Uh, so I was putting up dry, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, uh, drywall? Drywall. I think uh, in the process of that you've uh, created something uh, quite unique and there's a lot of, I notice a lot of younger people out there, especially, that are getting into that, the early uh, standards, the uh, rhythm and blues, doo-wop tunes, mm -hmm. are covering them, but not necessarily the way uh, they were originally interpret interpreted. Well, like boys to men and, and you've, like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you've kind of termed that phrase, teenage jazz, what I think, what I think is so cool. It's, uh, you know, I think it's going to strike in a chord or an ear to the younger generation, That's hopefully. That would be great. And... Uh, but you know, we're, you know, the truth is, we're doing it from the heart from right the heart. now. Well, that's obvious. And you know, when you do something from the heart, people, you know, they pick up on that. Mm -hmm. And we'll see what happens. If something happens, great. Meanwhile, we're here with you. And we're going to have this. And this is great. All right. You know, we're going to do a song. You we're going to take a short break first. Let's we're do gonna, a song with you. How's we're going to do a song, right, Mick? Okay.